Hey guys, today we're going to be working on uh, our level design here. I was like drinking some tea. Yeah, we're going to be working on a level design of our game that we've created right now. With our cool moving background and a little guy jumping around. And I'm going to make it look a little better. And today I've designed this little sprite right here that I'm actually... Alright, very good. Alright. So, I called it block. Where did I save it? That's this one I designed yesterday. Designed. My bad. And this is like the one that is designed today. We're gonna go ahead and drag it into our textures and, and materials and stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and click on our materials. Now right click, create new material. I'm gonna call this block. Click select. Select our block and we're just gonna drag it onto the ground and change the this to whatever twenty. Or forty something like that on all 35 yep that's good enough it's good now we got some sort of this this kind of background or it, it sort of matches the scene but you know we also want we also want shadows so we're gonna Duplicate the block and we'll call this shadow. And we want to duplicate our floor. And we're going to bring our second floor down to the right, about halfway, and back. We're going to replace this with block two. Well, I mean, not background, so what the heck am I doing? We're going to replace it with the shadow. I'm gonna make this dark and decrease the okay that's weird oh yeah so he's gonna It, I guess for now. Um, this doesn't do anything because we need to actually go ahead and copy our block. And in the shadow, we gotta replace this with block one. And I think we have to make this. We gotta go ahead and. We got to go ahead in here. Sure, we're good. we got to go ahead in here and make this transparent diffuse. And transparent pretty much allows this to be transparent like this. Actually, you know what? We're going to go go ahead and bring it back to its position. Bring it up. Oh, it just looks a little natural. Like this already got a little, little shadow going on here. And we're going to make this an actual floor. We can duplicate it. I think control D, bring it up. Go ahead and turn it to a 90 degree, actually negative, nine, ne negative 90 angle. And I think it's 180 or 240. 240, 
40 degree angle. Okay, never mind. 90, 90, 90, 180, 90, 180, like this. I'm gonna go ahead, bring this wall to the side pretty much. Go, go ahead, zoom in the wall. And then I grab her shadow. And drag it this way. Back. And to the side, I guess, a little bit. Actually, I'm going to drag this whole floor back. a little bit and we can just play around with the camera and a little bit just like that because we'll still follow the player let's check in time bring it up a little bring it up a notch like that you want it just to fit perfectly yeah I'm just looking right here so it looks better so if we play it now it sort of looks good and you know for Full effect. We're gonna we can duplicate this. Bring it over here. Expand it. And bring the shadow just to the other side. It's like maybe a little wider, like, like that, like so. And now, guy, this little concept going. And you know, you notice how if we we can see this little floor part. What I did in my game is I took this first gray background, duplicate it, I, I bring I, I I bring it down, and I and I turn it to a negative ninety degrees. And brought it up. So so you can't really see. So you can't really see. You can't really see it. And you know, I, I never really explained this in the last video, but in the camera script, the height actually means um you want to change the height to around uh, a three. So as you can see, it shows less ground. So if we change the height to say five it's gonna mainly just show the character which is what we want and that's pretty cool because I forgot to tell you guys about the actual height since there's a little glitch with the floor there we can just that you can see like a little line there One second. Yeah, as you can see, there's like a little line, so we're just gonna replace that and just add the floor. So, so you can see that it goes all the way down there, and there are little barriers. One thing I want to get done today is actually just the platforms, and to do that, we're gonna create a cube. And it's in the middle of nowhere right now, so okay, we're gonna look at our first place of controls position Z and then go ahead paste onto the cube. And we're gonna make it a little bigger. 
and um, I have a little I already have a little kind of sprite design for it metal and how much you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new material create material and there's gonna be platform I'm gonna attach this little metal, little metal. And we're gonna make it self actually yeah, self element whatever to make it a little brighter and we're gonna attach it to the platform. Um select the X to make it around five or six or no like an eight or seven. No actually we're just gonna make it we're gonna make it normal. Bring it up a little bit. Oh crap, my parents are yelling. We bring it up a little like this, it's good enough. And it still looks a little still looks a little two D. So Alright, we're gonna quickly finish off here. We're gonna take our cube, we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna bring this one down. Bring it back like this, and we're gonna copy. We're gonna copy the platform material. We're gonna make this one transparent, diffuse. And on the second cube that we made, we're gonna drag this second material that we made. We're gonna we're gonna go at it. We're gonna make it dark and sort of transparent. Maybe even bring it to the side a little bit like this. So now we got ourselves a nice plat, a nice platform that we can hopefully do. Ah, come on. That we can jump onto. And walk around on. So you can just attach this cube to this one. It's called platform. So yeah, that was our quick low design tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next part seven.